not being like, Pre-patch was very silly. Very, very silly. Probably my favorite moment was uh, right before the patch dropped was Zero kept going for down throw up air. Yeah. And he kept missing them until like, he got the seventh one and then that one connected. That is a... Uh yeah, it was so consistent back in the day. Like, it was even like a 50-50 like until Super Hyper Sense. Yeah. Now she gets 50-50s out of up throw. Yes. Now as a doubles character, uh, she is not bad. Like, she can set oh, things up really ab well. Absolutely phenomenal. One of the best supporting characters in the game, I think. What's the thing? Like, you need a character like Cloud yeah. to really like open up opportunities for you. I think Red, Red Oh, hey, look who's on screen. Oh. Oh, look <laughs> who's really look big look for half no a second. Look who's on the screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... This is actually kind of our team, odd um, team composition because this is actually not the two characters that are hungry and Riz are known for playing. Both of them obviously known for the Meta Knight and the uh, and the Corrin. But I think for this team composition, it's solid. At least the Meta Knight uh, poses a lot of problems for Corrin. Yeah. So I can see why. Uh, I mean, not Meta Knight. Uh, 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 Meta Knight has a lot of difficulty against CSS. Yeah. Which makes sense and. Corrin uh, versus ESS isn't a great matchup either, so I can understand Ooh, why. Big follow up by Bankai! Ooh, Ooh, just barely missing out. Yeah, Riz almost giving the assist to Snakey. Snakey, that flipping onto the stage, that's good. Take out Riz's first stop. But these characters both have like so much mobility. Mm -hmm. Actually, all these characters are so, so mobile in both the air and on the ground. Very fast, all of them. And um, for the character that's as slow as ZSS on, on the ground, she has the best aim ability out of the out of the uh, four. So, oh, she really? Yes. Actually, wasn't aware of that. Yeah, she's like one of the I think slightly faster than Wario in the air. Wow, or, crazy. Or, or, or the same. It's like very close. That's actually crazy. I did not know that at all. I knew she was fast, I didn't think she was that fast. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and a back here from Cloud on that down smash, taking a little bit more knockback than usual, and he's going to lose that. <laughs> that was amazing. Yo, in stereo, though? Yeah. That was funny. Ooh, and. Oh, our, our hungry had to. He tried stop. to do his up B a little bit further out to avoid yeah. getting hit by the uh, the down B spike, but he did it a little too far. He didn't really have a choice there. That was really well placed by Bonkai. I mean, Cloud side B is honestly like one of those doubles moves I think is phenomenal. It's so easy to follow up off of because you can just react to it. This is... you know, despite the fact that like this looks really one-sided at first, uh, it's not that bad. Yeah, I mean, both members of the red team are like at a pretty like pretty high percent. If they lose both of their stocks, this is still basically an even game. So yeah, Ooh, no, a little. I want to see like, some team combo. Right, there's a little team. bit of team miscommunication there. I feel like it was like oh, was very, very in position for a follow up. And Riz opted just to get it back off stage. Yeah, Riz had an opportunity to like take the stock by like, sending it to R hungry, and she didn't opt for that. That's very odd. Nice forward air. But, like, this is also, like, there's a lot to be said also for just holding center stage and keeping your opponents on the periphery. Because then trying to get back to the center is going to cost them a lot. Ooh, and Riz actually living that. This is with the perfect DI. Right, and we saw that uh, Snakey ended up losing that stock because. Oh, but that's. Yeah, not as good, but losing that stock right there is Riz. So, once again, basically an even game, uh, almost slightly in the favor of Red Team. But definitely not something like, impossible to come back from being that. Um, no, just a couple of juggles away, basically. Yeah, Bonkai is basically a kill percent. Yeah. There he goes. And really, right here, like, while well, ZSS is certainly not a death percent yet, Cloud with a whole lot of rage is definitely, like, something scary to deal with. Bonkai reading the uh, dare right there, just barely missing out with that uh, boost, or rather, um... Yeah. Okay. Uh, R-Hungry's DI really saving him. Ooh, and oh, he's nice gonna make it back. Bonkai. No, he's not. Almost Damn. saving him was R-Hungry. You yeah, obviously the reverse scenario where... I'm surprised he didn't uh, do that Sheik thing where she goes like 50 billion miles with her upbeat. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, that, that might be actually in the end. Like a little bit of Sheik inexperience. That's gonna be an S-Rash and that will take the stock. A little bit of Sheik inexperience. It's funny you say that because our, that used to be Riz's main. Oh, is it now? Yeah. I always thought it was Meta Knight. No, he was a, he was a Sheik main. Oh, he before, was? Before uh, pre-patch dropped. Oh, okay. I always thought it was Meta Knight. Maybe <laughs> I'm, I thought I'm going crazy. <laughs> I mean, you didn't know. It's not your fault. Oh, no. I could have sworn he was. <laughs> anyway. Uh, game number two. I do expect a potential character change from either R Hungry or Riz. Um, I feel like the Cloud, while it was working out for um, R Hungry, he was losing a lot of those stocks relatively early. FD is the pick. I do actually like this. Uh, no more extensions on the platforms for the red team, so. Yeah, Riz staying uh, chic. Totally respectable. Yeah. Um, I 
I'm not really surprised by his choice not to go Meta Knight. Yeah. But I am a little disappointed because it's like he made the character now. Because um, Meta Knight's the kind of character that either poops on everyone or he just gets destroyed. So right. I understand. It must be like, DSS must be terrible for Meta Knight for him to not choose not to go him. And I feel like, like the team comp of like Cloud and Meta Knight just like takes stock so early. And like if she doesn't have the uh, ability to pat. Uh, pass the cloud in a certain scenario, she's not going to be able to get stock control later percent. However, right here, dead even in those percentages. Also, I want to see some like up throws from Sheik into Danby's, mm -hmm. like really badly. Like that's the one thing that's really that's really strong for Sheik. Oh, and that is going to be a nice punish for Arnold. A little bit of an overcommitment by Snakey. Oh, and a nice bouncing fish almost taking the stock of Bunkai. Yeah, Arnold recovering uh, Riz's bouncing fish almost perfectly, just by his presence. Ooh, and that up just trading, allowing Riz to get out of that scenario. Ooh, nice follow-up by the red team. Not taking the stock, though. I love that up smash so much. Oh, nice. And then the double up air. Gonna be able to frame trap Arhun to take him off the top. I've never seen something like that. That looks so stupid. Ooh, and Simon, I think, to the ledge. However, right there. With good awareness on the blue team, uh, they're actually getting a lot more team combos this time. Right. I think we're seeing that um, coming back with the percentages. Um, being that they are being so consistent, it's kicking and holding stage control here. With a solid little lead in the percentages as well. Nice little follow up mm -hmm. by our hungry from Riz. It can be really hard to tell uh, which, which uh, ZSS is which. which. Yeah, I feel like. Despite the fact that uh, Bunkai is the black CSS, like it's just like it has, it, has the, it, has the, it has the red hue, right? It has a red hue. It's on a black background. Yeah, and like it's, you can barely tell the difference between the two of them. Ooh, up B. He's good not gonna from, die to that. Good DI from Riz, though. Yes. He's uh, way too. I think he was way too close to the uh, right side uh, of the stage. by Bunkai. That, that's really what the, I think what the, the red team is gonna need to bring this game back is like, a quick like backdoor down B. Oh yeah. Take a stock early. I mean, this is still very doable for the red team. Uh, they don't need if they can just get one or two hits in and just keep them on, keep them on the periphery. Right. And I think that the uh, the blue team has been very consistent at pressuring Snakey and putting her in a lot of two v one scenarios, making it very difficult for her to see, get her um, her combo game started and a lot of her uh, nutrients started as well. I mean, that is one of uh, these two characters. She can cloud. Their biggest strengths are definitely to keep people in the blender yes. for as long as possible. Which is why a lot of people hate Cloud and Doubles for having like so much kill power and being able to keep people in the blender very effortlessly. Oh, that's a Snakey it for Snakey. What a really what Yo. a change of the pace. Such a dominant like uh, game for the blue team. Yeah, blue team without those platforms. Uh, the red team's having a lot of t a very tough time. Oh, oh, that's a nice coverage by Bankai. He is. Oh, did he? okay. He's fine. He, he did have a job. Okay. For a second, I thought he lost, he lost it and didn't realize. And this is actually looking a little bit more doable. Not saying, like, obviously in Bankai's favor, as no 2v1 would, but it's in a situation where an early game on Cloud could mean the 2v1 scenario, and then with a bunch of rage, he might be able to bring this back. Oh, a little awkward. I mean, he is uh, fighting a pair of characters, one that's super gimpable, and the other one that has no kill power. Right. Uh, that really is, like, Cloud's only real weakness. Oh! oh what a play by Bankai! That was nice. <laughs> that, was very, that was so smart. I love it. He punished uh, our hungry so hard for being way too close to both. Right, of them. it was it was like the grab armor of effort. It's like punched right through that cross slash and was able to get that hitbox out just to stop it in time to not die. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the off smash unpunchable. Oh, that's right there, it, yeah. but that will take it. A good showing by Bankai though. Gave him a little bit of a run for their money for sure. That was good. That throw was good. I forget what F throw is at anime. Can we see that clip real quick though? Did you get the clip? No, I went I went deaf instead. Oh. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for clipping the mic guys. I'm not sure which one of us it was. Oh. It was both of you. Oh no. <laughs> I no, it's like if you talk low, then I have to raise you. And I then, mean yeah, yeah. then like because I mean, the variance is so huge. I, I feel like like not Yeah. I feel like naturally, um, it can be kind of difficult to, um, 
like because like when we're at Zena, you just kind of commentate. Uh, yeah, because you're 50 million miles, 50 million away, miles from away from the But like when you're right next to them, you don't want to like, like you throw don't them be off. too loud, right? It also, on the flip side, it does let you say mostly positive things about them. Yes. Because it's like, I don't want to say stuff that's going to throw them off their game. Yeah, so rather, right. I'm not going to neg this guy. I'm going to compliment the other guy for doing something smart. Right, sure. And you should do that anyway. Choice? Right, no, I, I understand. It's just like... Yeah, no, of course. Like, you shouldn't be a... Uh, it's a bad thing to commentate neg. Nice. Little follow-ups by the red team. Excellent team combo coming out. And I love the, the pick of Dreamland. Being how their uh, extensions are going to be so good on the stage. Good Bunkai throwing on oh, off of the stage and immediately going to uh, assist Nike. Nice. That jab one coming out so fast. We'll be able to get a follow-up. <laughs> double, double flip kick for the red team. Come backstage. A oh, up by Snakey. It? However, a finishing touch. A great response by R Hungry to make sure that he got that stock off when his teammate losses as well. Bunkai However, might get the stock. <gasps> wait a minute, though. He might lose his in the process. No, and he is he going did. to. Missing attack. He didn't uh, instantly retract, so he was just dead. Wait a minute here. R Hungry going to get back to the stage. Nice little bit of damage, though, on that shield. Yeah, they're looking to uh, they're looking to secure another kill on Riz as quickly as possible. Like they're not really paying as much attention to them. Are hungry, right? As some people might, because they I think they realize that the kill will come to them eventually as long as like they're patient about it. Right, and there and it is. Uffy will end up picking the stock. Good at the eye by Are Hungry, but just not enough to keep that stock held down. That's something that a lot of players don't really realize is that the kill will usually come to you eventually yeah. as long as you're playing safely and not getting just blended. Right, because it only takes one unsafe option for them. Ooh, scary situation, situation there for Snakey, all the way at the top of the screen, almost getting up here by Sheik. And a little bit of a lead here for the blue team. Certainly nothing that can't be reversed immediately, being at the high percent that Sheik is at. I really love our Hungry's move right now. He's trying to... Uh... Ooh, and another Hungry right there. That's what I meant about earlier. The high percentage of Sheik and all the rage from the red team is going to be able to take a stock out much earlier than expected. Not fair. Even the sour spot, though. Not going to be able to take out Bankai's stock. Not oh, and up air again. Going to be able to take it for the blue team. Oh, Snakey almost died there. But uh, Bankai's corpse actually managing to cover her re-entry to the stage. Combo here for Snakey. Is a chance? Now, Snakey being very, that was very smart on Snakey's part, just playing cautiously because she knew that if R Hungry saw her coming, that he was going to go for something meaty like that. Right, and he could take that stock and a little bit of a relief here for the blue team. Gonna have to get an earlier dip on Cloud just to make sure he doesn't get another early stock like he has been getting for most of this set. Oh, nice attempt by Bankai to catch the, uh, to catch nice the landing. Nice smash by Snakey. He's not going to take the stock he's yet, but he is going to have to burn that limit. Yo, Riz with the good coverage, though. I like that a lot. Allowing his teammate to get back to the stage. However, Riz is at that high percent here. And, ooh, I'm surprised to know immediate up by Snakey trying to get that stock off. Just like that, like, it's pretty much even. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's pretty much even. Um, the blue team isn't at really at risk of dying right now, but you gotta be super careful. Uh, the SS can still, like, ladder them. Right. Mm -hmm. but even for the slightest bit of rage, I don't think potentially might even kill, um, kill Riz at this percent with the slightest bit of the eye, or miss the eye. Oh, that's gonna be the stock. <laughs> now a 2v1, but for Snakey this time around, and she's gonna have to do a little bit more work than Bunkle did in the last couple, in the last game, being that Cloud is at such low percent. Yeah, she loses. That's, that's gonna be it. it. And then we we're going to see Riz and R Hungry move on in the bracket. Loser side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty close set, I'd say. I mean